Hello everybody, welcome to this week's video. It's uh, been another busy, busy week and uh, <laughs> the video's gonna show that. I'm just like uh, jumping from shutters to fountain to kitchen, shutters, fountain, kitchen. Um, so yeah, it's been a good week. Uh, it turns out that uh, Tama will be uh, going on vacation pretty much for the whole month of August, as will most of France. <laughs> so, uh, other than volunteers, I'm not going to get a whole lot of things done. I think they will be coming the first week of uh, August to finish my countertops. So that's going to be pretty huge. But other than that, I'm going to be on my own. The good news is that uh, one of my husband's really good friends from Toronto, uh, Bruce, he's going to be coming and he actually is a contractor. So it'll be interesting. I, uh, I want to allow him to have a little bit of a vacation, but, um, I imagine that he is knowing him. He's going to see projects that he's going to be excited about. So that'll be fun. So, uh, I kind of lose Tomas for a month, but I gain Bruce instead. So, uh, otherwise, I'm going to carry on with um, getting the painting done. I really, my painting was just so interrupted all week by just so much going on. Uh, so I didn't get, I didn't even finish priming the uh, corner bedroom. So I've got a little bit left to do on that. And then I can uh, go and get the color. And I think once, uh, once I get the color going, I think it'll be fairly quick. So... Um, the priming has just involved a lot of prep work. So, okay, I will stop rambling now. Um, I have one more volunteer coming in about an hour. So I'm going to have two volunteers here, as far as I know. And, uh, yeah, so it'll be fun to have uh, some company. Okay, a bientôt. YouTube. <laughs> I'm a channel to YouTube. You? Me? Peut-être. Okay, all the excitement today. The oh, shutters are finally going back up. I'm so excited. Soon, all of these centers will be back in place. How fun will that be? And as well, today we have the guy coming to measure for the countertops. But we won't have countertops until the first week of August. So, my first volunteer is coming on Sunday. <laughs> We're going to have an interesting time. Alright, well, uh, this is how my morning's going. I haven't even had my, my tea yet, so... <laughs> no, it's a little too much excitement. But, here we go. I don't know how they're going to do this side. I guess they just drive the truck down. There we go. So there's the before. <laughs> Here's the morning. Okay, I'm gonna go have my tea. All right, we have some incredible cleaning of the cave going on. The uh, floor of the cave underneath is actually all rocks. It's like a rock floor, stone floor. It just has been covered in after all these years in the month. So, these guys are, the Moss and Valerie are uncovering it. We've got a pump going on here. We've got a spray water, a power sprayer, battle washer going on. Ah, there's that. 
So here's a little tidbit about living in France. Sheets. Sheets are really hard. They don't seem to sell sheet sets, as far as I've been able to find. Or if they do, the set comes with a fitted sheet, a duvet cover, and two pillowcases. The idea of a flat sheet, not a big thing here. Anyway, I found flat sheets, which I had to buy individually, and they were of a size that I thought would fit on a bed this size. But uh, apparently they're for really, really long, skinny beds. Uh, that's all I can guess, I don't know. They do not fit on this bed in either direction. So I guess I saved them for twin beds. I don't know. Anyhow, um, just one of the many frustrations. All these different weird bed sizes. So, happy ending. There's no one like you, my little girl Your eyes so blue under those brown curls Promise me that you know The world is yours Strike them with your glow Go on now Be good Be fine Live your life Dream big, don't forget little brocante because I am picking up the sink and actually two little sinks but I'm also kind of got my eye on this uh, massive armoire the problem is I don't think it's gonna fit in the van we have but it sure would be pretty I'm looking for something that's going to hold all of the sheets and towels and linens basically but I'm basically here for this this guy so I'm getting that. I'm getting three big mirrors and I have to walk you over to the other little guy that I'm getting. This little guy that I will either turn into a sink or use in one of the bedrooms just to hold tea and coffee or something like that or it could be used as a little desk maybe so I think it will be useful no matter what but I was just sort of looking for these armor at armoires because it's I've just bought a whole ton of towels and now I need somewhere to put them I have nowhere to put them so there we go. I have to wait for Tomas. Of course, he's they're being very French and <laughs> we arrived to pick up the furniture and they're having coffee. <laughs> and I don't drink coffee, so it's not very interesting to me. This is very interesting to me instead. So anyway, I'm getting the little, the two sinks and three mirrors for 600 euros, which I'm pretty excited about. And then this guy, I don't actually know the price. So, there we go, but very handsome, and I would put it upstairs in the hall, kind of uh, on one side of the stairs, so it'd be handy to have there for all the linens. 
Okay, let you know. Très bien, merci beaucoup. À tout de suite. So, it's good? Yeah, wow, who knew that was all underneath there? Yep, everywhere. It's crazy. So I turn the sink, we just gonna add the, the top seam and all here, gonna hide it with the... Uh, with the sand and stuff. For walking, it would be better. Yeah. Mm. And this is so perfectly cool. here. Yeah. So we're gonna Perfect. put this big one first here. Ah, okay. And after the little one inside, um, like this here, we make some hole. Okay. All the water because there's still water coming yeah, everywhere. Right. Can go in the middle here, come here, and oh, okay. Try to be the more drier possible. Right. Very cool. Mm -hmm. You make a big. Uh, oh boy. Rampart. Wow. And tomorrow we're gonna clean this and put some cement. Cement, yeah. Put this and plug everywhere. Everything. Right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's so cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> now he has to negotiate around the hole.
is gone now. So we're not done yet though. So um, we resolved the issue here by switching a couple of the lower ones between here and here. So um, I had originally had the cabinets going just to here, but now in order to make everything fit, the cabinets are gonna go all the way to the wall. So he's getting a new cabinet here that he's going to, you know, not charge me for. And then the other two that were supposed to go here will go next to it. So it won't go completely to the wall, but just about, and then he'll put a, a spacer in. So the guy came today to measure for the countertops, but I'm not gonna get those for another two weeks. Um, so that's kind of problematic. <laughs> I have people coming on Sunday and I don't really have a kitchen. Uh, I've kind of got a sink. They're sort of setting this up for me temporarily. Um, we still have to plumb it. We, Dama, still has to plumb it. Um, but we've got dishwasher here. So that's exciting. And um, we've got... <laughs> This is sort of a mystery to me. I guess it's meant for, I mean, obviously garbage and recycling, although they're not very large, I have to say. And then I think these ones are meant for, I don't know, yard waste? Like what were these before? No idea. So I asked if they have just two bigger ones to go in here. I'm hoping, we'll see. And then over here, same thing. This sink is undermounted, so we really do have to wait for the counters to come. This is another dishwasher. So basically, in this kitchen, I will keep all of the dishes, and that's why I did those in glass, so that it would look pretty, I guess. And they're all gonna be lit. They're all lit up. I wonder if that works, actually. Let's see what happens. No. <laughs> Apparently not. Let's see if this one, what this one does, if anything. Oh, not that one lights the main. Okay, well, maybe the lights are not hooked up yet. I don't even know. So, you can see how crooked this room is because I was sitting here going, why do these look so wonky? And then I realized that the line of the cabinets along the floor and the line of, <laughs> of the little squares do not match and so that's how crooked this wall is it's just it actually it's an angle and if you look here on the floor we've got one square two square three square and then a little bit here and then on this side <laughs> we have one square two square three square and almost a full half a square over here so that's why when you look along here it does not line up. So it's a little disorienting. And I had no idea before that it was so crooked, but there you go. So the countertops are all gonna be black, which I'm hoping will tie in with this, uh, with the, the, the squares on the floor. And what else have we got coming? I'm, um, I'm actually in the process of looking for another stove. So I got completely burned on the stove that I bought. I thought I was being so economical by buying one used. And um, it turned out, I just was so scammed. I'm feeling quite scammed about it. Um, it's a beautiful stove, but um, not only is it electric and very old, I had no idea it was 40 years old, four zero. Um, it's only when I got in touch with Lacanche because I, it doesn't have its feet. So I got in touch with Lacanche to see if I could have them send me some feet for it. And he said, it's actually so old that we don't make those parts anymore. So between not having a feet and the burner's actually not working very well, uh, I think I'm going to try and resell it at a fairly hefty loss. Um, and I will not be at all recommending um, the people that I bought it from. 
So it was, uh, yeah, I just feel really kind of scammed. I got in touch with them and told them I was unhappy with it. And they told me that even if I, even at a loss, like I said, can I exchange it or something? Like I wasn't even asking for my money back. Uh, they said they would not take it back. Like, no kidding, because it's a complete dud. Anyhow, so I'm just uh, going to swallow that loss and um, move on and get something new. And uh, I'll probably go with gas this time since I understand it a little bit better. It will still be, we don't have gas service in this house, so it will still be the tanks, but uh, I don't think that will be a problem. It's pretty normal in Europe to have that happen, to, to use tanks rather than uh, town gas. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. You know, you got to make these compromises and sometimes you got to take a loss <laughs> on the mistakes you made. So there you go. So that's where we're at. Uh, eventually I'm going to have some just, uh, just shelves here. I want to do a couple of little glass shelves in the nook. Um, obviously the stove, we still have to obviously build a, um, a place for the hood uh, over overhead here. So uh, I think, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's just going to go in the center. I don't think it's going to cover the whole wall because if we do that, then it will interfere with the nook. But maybe, I don't know. We still have to kind of design that. So that one's going to be... That one's still to come. And so now I still have to decide on what to do with the black backsplash, what color paint. Although I have to say that this color of the just plaster, I'm kind of liking with it. So we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah. I don't think it's looking too horribly beige. Although maybe if I tone down, I don't know, maybe with the paint color, I'll be able to uh, make it less beigey. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I am glad it's not stark white, because I think the stark white with these floors would be uh, a little too much. So overall, I'm happy. Uh, you know, I have to say it was a little more, the product is a little more plasticky than I kind of hoped it would be. But um, the drawers are not wood, they're metal. Or maybe they're wood, but they're coated. I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, they have all the nice, you know, soft clothes and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to have tons of space. So that's going to be nice. Um, there's little things like this. I guess that's for spices. I don't think it's going to be enough room for my spices. Haha. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be cool. And this one has like a little inner drawer next to the stove, as does this one. So, anyhow, yeah, I think overall I'm happy. There's a few little things that, um, are annoying, but I know they will not be annoying after time. I have, uh, gotten a quote to get uh, the same stone to go all around the baseboards since all of the baseboards were so uh, rotten. They're all out there. <laughs> um, so I think that will tie it together and will allow the wall to breathe a little better. So hopefully um, we won't have the issue of the wall needing to breathe. Uh, and then we'll, it will solve the problem of this step and the doors and all of that. And so, yeah. So that's where the kitchen's at. It's coming along. These things take their time. I mean, it's been honestly really, really fast. So I have nothing to complain about speed wise. I was just hoping, I didn't realize there was gonna be such a long delay between when they finished the kitchen and when the countertops came. So anyway, but we'll make do, we'll just, put some plywood over the, you know, just so I have places to um, prepare food and stuff, just because I do have people coming. <laughs> of course I do. Anyway, okay, that's the update for today. Uh, yeah.
Elle est là, la fin. Elle est là, ouais. Tu veux pas des gants Il a la fin. You need to get you some grapes. Ouais. Raison. Regarde, par rapport à... au Nautec, quoi. Hein. Ah, ouais. On y va, toi, mais juste pour poser, que je puisse voir euh... si tu me mets là-bas. Attends, attends, attends. Oui, oui. Mais de toute façon, plus on va là, plus c'est... Terrible, terrible thrower. Now oh, it broke it. Well, that's a better size for you, I think. <laughs> oh. oh, let go. Let go. Let go. I have to say the ball is a little easier. <laughs> this cave is so cool. And now that it's all cleaned out, not mucky on the bottom. It's all stones. Isn't this wild? It's even got a second floor. <laughs> and I guess the stairs went up there. So potentially we can build a second floor and some stairs. These beams would all have to be replaced. But this 
Christmas cool. And it's got a grotto. <laughs> Another little grotto. Which is the spring. And then they're doing a pipe within a pipe, I guess. Is what's happening here. Just to direct the water. And then we're leaving a little trap here so that if it ever gets clogged, we can clean it out. And then we have the tank. There it is. Nope. Uh, there. There. there it's draining. What is with the hornets? They're always around the water. It's crazy. And that's going to tap into that. And then this is the overflow. And then there'll be a pump in here that will pump the water up to the uh, up through the the uh, fountain. So there we go. So the bottom has all been cemented in now. Voila. Things are happening. Just like that, the shutters are back. He's got them all closed for a reason. I think somehow. I don't I don't know why. is raising up to the level of this pipe, which then goes through here. It's housed in a bigger pipe just to protect it. Hangs out here. It goes into that pipe there. Voila. We have pretty darn good pressure right here. Let's see. That. And then that pipe is connected to this thing. <laughs> it disturbed me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm distracting. I'm distracting the worker. <laughs> I have never been so happy. To have a dishwasher and look at the little light on the bottom i've never seen that before is that new <laughs> wow so excited i don't have to take my dishes down in a laundry basket to the basement to wash them by hand so big steps going on here <laughs> hey i'm just at the train station awaiting my very first volunteer to arrive she's uh coming in from new york and uh, I'm going to have, I think, two volunteers this week. Possibly three, although one of them has been a little sketchy. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, it's a whole, whole nother week happening. <laughs> a whole nother level of getting things done at the Chateau. Okay. Live, it's your life. Rocks